Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your third week of August reading start from the 15th through the 21st of August 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So let's see what is coming up for Scorpions for this week time uh, starting tomorrow. And um, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. You can also check out my sister's tarot channel as well. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. And um, yeah, let's get started. Let's see what's coming up for Scorpions for this week's time. Let's begin. Five of Pentacles. Strength. Three of Swords, Ace of Wands, one more card please, Ten of Pentacles, let's take one more, Five of Cups, okay one more, the hair of one, okay let's take one last, Seven of Swords, I need the deck we do have the Seven of Cups, Scorpio, 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 when are you going to make up your mind, it's like you know going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth again, it's it's nothing new for for uh, for my scorpions like you know it seems like you know you've been doing this since forever um and it's it's like a um testing time for the cross watchers for sure because uh whatever you want you are getting that during this week time scorpios are going to be acknowledging the fact that they really want somebody in their life and they, they don't like being away from them. But at the same time, it's really hard for my uh, scorpions here to, to um, you know, um, to stick to that mindset where they feel the need to be with this person that they have in their life. I feel like, you know, you, 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 um, you're starting off the week feeling very left alone. You're starting off the week feeling very bad because you, you really feel the need to have this person in your life. You really feel the need... To be with a specific someone if you don't have anybody in your life right now or you don't have anybody you know on your mind when it comes to your love life you really want to be with someone you are feeling left alone you are feeling unhappy you are feeling bad but you don't have that strength to come out of that zone um where you could you, where you could be uh you know uh attract the type of love that you want attract the right kind of person in your life to take the right step towards, if, if there is a specific someone in your life, I feel like you don't have the strength to go about this connection. Why? It could be for three, uh, two reasons. But yeah, since I said three, it could be three different reasons. Let me see what could be the third one. But yes, I, I am picking up two reasons here very strongly. One, you have had a past with this person, which does make it very hard for you to reconnect with this person because you think of the past and then you feel like pulling away. One reason. Number two, um... You don't have the strength to um, to to give a commitment to a person. Why? Because again, it could be a commitment fear. It doesn't have to be because of the same person. It can be because of the past experiences that you might have had, or it could be the reason that you are so busy with your other areas of your life. So you don't know if you have that strength where you could um, you know add another thing or and add another responsibility in your life or not. So you have your fears and doubts around it. Now the third reason. Um, hmm. What could be the third reason? <sighs> Lack of clarity could be one. Because with two swords, it's like, you know, indecisiveness. And one more sword is like the third reason there. So maybe it's like, you know, you don't have the clarity of uh, what do you actually want. Because I feel like, you know, you keep going back and forth when it comes to your love life decisions. You don't have a clarity there. You really want this person, but at the same time, you don't want them. It's, it's more like... Um, you want them on your terms and conditions. You you want them if uh, they are giving you what you want and not giving you what you don't want. Like, you know, I, I do see scorpions always running away from commitments until and unless they are 100% sure that, yes, they want it. So there is no 100% clarity as of now to my scorpions. And I don't see you having that clarity even now. Like, you know, when I'm doing this reading, I don't see that you will have that clarity. You would love to give into this connection. You would love to have this beautiful connection with a specific someone. But when it comes to responsibilities, future plannings and stuff like that, that's when you are going to 
feel like no i think this is not my thing this is not what i want this is not what i desire this is not what i can give my time into so i do see the scorpions are still having those back and forth moments uh where they are you know being indecisive trying to have the clarity then get you know um um kind of you know they, they it's it's more like you know you let your fears and doubts kind of you know cloud you completely the moment you have the little bit of clarity your clouds of uh, fears and doubts they start coming back and that's when you i would suggest you two things here one for the cross watcher um don't put a pressure on this person about you know commitments and stuff if things are going good between you and this person let them be the way they are don't put pressure on your scorpion one thing for them the cross watcher now coming to the person who is a scorpio i feel like you really have to live in the moment don't let your past kind of you know a cloud you don't listen to your past fears and doubts and let them you know spoil your current reality and put you or your life on hold which they have been doing so in in the last you know maybe years or so so um i feel like you know if and only if you could you know stick to that clarity and th there's nothing that scorpions cannot do if they want to do like i said if you know that this is what you want you will do it like nothing in the world will stop you not even you know multiple uh things that you might be dealing with in your life right now it's just that you have you allow your fears to creep in because you you yourself is not ready once you are ready i know you will be able to maintain that uh clarity but right now you 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 know the 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 need the feeling of having a reunion with a per person or having that you know married life committed life you you don't have that strong urge to be in one committed relationship i'm not saying you are dating or seeing multiple people here i'm you know when i said one committed means like you know the 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 ultimate one the thing that the 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 you know the perfect partner that you seek you are not ready for that kind of commitment you you know once you are ready you will give your 100% to this one thing but right now i do see you going back and forth there are times there are days when you want it there are times there are days when you don't want it but um you are doing the same thing over and over again you're starting of the week with the same feeling of uh, needing to be with that one person you you know by the time you reach um the end of the week it seems like you know you have your fears back again and only you can change those fears or if you are a cross watcher you can definitely use manifestation techniques to help your scorpion to get out of this these fears and doubts regarding commitment and you know stuff like that you can always use affirmation be that you yourself a scorpio or be that you 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 know the person who is a cross watcher watching it for your person um you can use a uh, an affirmation you can make your own affirmation you can always reach out to me for my affirmations but um you know like I, like i said it's a paid one um you can always make your one affirmation around the situation that you are having with your scorpion or if you are a scorpion you have you know that you have a fear of commitment you really want to get rid of it just just uh, make an affirmation for yourself around it and keep repeating that to yourself as if you are strong enough to 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 take on to this responsibility of you know being in a committed relationship you you know only good is going to happen in this connection you know that you know good things are coming for you you know that miraculously everything is going to fall into place for you in this connection make your own affirmation for yourself and keep repeating that to yourself until and unless that starts becoming your reality and that starts you know um kicking the clouds of doubts out of your mind because you really need this if you don't do that you are going to go back and forth in this connection in this you know a uh, situation where you want your your specific someone but then you don't want because your fears creep in so um let me ask one question here uh what can you know scorpions do to uh kick the fears out and be consistent in terms of like you know when you need that one person one relationship then wh why uh, you know what is that one thing which you need to stay on that track I feel like you know if if um the fear might start coming because of the cross watcher as well maybe you put the pressure on your person and that's why the scorpion starts feeling like you know hurt again think of the boss you did the same in the boss and this and that so just allow the scorpion to take that decision about you about this connection once they are ready trust me they will give you more than what you have asked for but if they are not ready you are going to scare them off 
Okay. So just uh, let's see what what um, what can keep you scorpions uh, on on that you know one thing that yes you are ready for a committed relationship. Let's find out what could be the one thing which is going to help you stay on that. Chariot, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords. The only thing that can do that is um, your person go going away. And if, if she or he does it, actually, that's the only thing which can push you to take the right decision. I feel like, you know, for the majority of my scorpions, it's like, you know, they, they know their person is not going anywhere. That's why they, they have been very lazy in taking that right decision. So that could be the one thing. If you're a cross watcher, if you uh, leave this person, I feel like, you know, then this person has a strong chance of uh, start taking this connection seriously. So, yep. Uh, otherwise, I don't see it, uh, you know, this person taking any anything um, too seriously to the point where they know that they have to stay focused on, you know, this commitment thing once and for all. So let's take the oracle card now. Let's see what the oracle has to have to be reading for my scorpions. wedding the situation involves marriage okay um i just said one thing you know if you start putting pressure on this person uh, on your scorpion they are going to scare you away but if you let them feel the pressure instead of you telling them something verbally there's a huge difference if if you um if you really want this person to value you or your presence you really have to make them feel because they go with the feelings more than Verb, verbal you know words or stuff if you're going to tell them okay fine if you don't do this i will just leave you or i will do this and that they will say okay go ahead like you know fuck off or whatever it is one uh person who is like you know no doubt they will still miss you but at the same time they will just you know um they don't like to get threatened that way if you really want you know this person to value you you really have to silently walk away from this person. That's the trigger point for the scorpion. So you can try that as well if you're a cross watcher. So, yep. Um, with the wedding card here, the situation involves marriage. For majority of you, I feel like you, know, you have been demanding marriage or something around those lines with your scorpion if you're a cross watcher. And if you are the scorpio yourself, I feel like you know now you are going to be feeling that pressure coming from your person or situation. But again, the only thing which is going to push you to make that decision is going to be your person walking away from you because you are starting of the week with that fear of being left alone which you don't want to have but again there is a heavy cloud of doubt and fear that you carry within you so it's going to be back and forth um situation conflicted mind uh, that you're going to be having during this week time around this person around the situation around this love life uh, thing that you have so let's take one more card here. Polarity. <sighs> Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Hold on. Yep. So um yeah, we were we were uh you know uh, looking into this card of uh, polarity. I feel like you know for, for you guys, um I don't know. I feel like you know you find it very hard to, um, you know, maintain a balance between the two. You know, you you get into the extremes in in one way or the other. So you really have to understand that there is like you know there should be a balance of both. The uh, you know uh, in terms of you know um, it's it's like you know, when it comes to you know if if I if I uh, you know try to clarify this card here in, in simple words. I would say like, you know, if, if I talk about like, you know, um, when it comes to your love life, I feel like, you know, you, you, uh, it's, It seems like you know find it very hard to that you would you could ever be able to uh 
bring the balance or the two can coexist your love life and your work life your love life all the other areas of your life you always give your hundred percent to one area of your life and it's very hard for you to understand that things do coexist and you find it really hard when it comes to your love life and it's that's the reason why it has been your least priority but um it's it seems like you know um same goes when you are in a relationship you know if you start seeing the positive of a person you go to the extreme in that situation and when you start seeing the negative of a connection of a relationship you go to the extreme again so i feel like you know there is like you know you really have to bring some sort of balance there you really have to um you know you really have to figure out that for sure and then um For some of you, I feel like you, know, you feel at times that you and your person is somebody who um, who is too opposite in terms of maybe the their their um, the way they they deal with things in their life, and that could be the one of the reasons. Like you know, you feel like you know you cannot be a good couple being together, even though you still have feelings for this person. You, they have feelings for you, but at the same time, you do have that kind of fear as well, where you feel like you know two different people cannot live together because you find it very uh, uncompatible kind of a situation there. So again, there, there are like, you know, you really have to understand a few things here. And um, I'm picking up different, you know, messages with this card here. You have so much, you know, the scorpions have so much within them about, you know, th there is a lot of, uh, you know, if you're a cross watcher here watching this video, you might feel like, you know, your person is like the most insensitive one that you can ever find on the face of this earth. It's just that they have the whole universe of emotions within them because they never share it out. So it's again, like, you know, um, when they share, they will share their heart out like anything. If they don't share, they will just keep it till it just, you know, blast. So that's how the scorpions are. And they, they don't find the balance, healthy balance there at all, which is the issue here in their love life as well. And um, yeah, but I feel like you can help them with, the, with affirmation scripting and, you know, manifestation techniques as well. And um yeah, by, by kind of uh, detaching yourself silently from this person. That too is going to help you a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for uh, for this uh, week time, Scorpions. And uh, if the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe, and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till later, the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.